Welcome back. Every week, Jake Tapper draws a cartoon about the big and sometimes peculiar moments in politics. But how does an artist capture complex candidates on paper? Jake goes into the mind and hands of one of his favorite cartoonists. The candidates, seen by millions. Thank you all so much. Known by just a few. And captured by cartoonists in a single frame. Whenever I draw anybody, I am feeling that person's experience at that moment. It is about a kind of empathy. It's a kind of um, feeling what they're feeling. Renowned political cartoonist and illustrator Stephen Brodner has spent decades depicting the lives and times of public figures, including Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. I draw her as this uh, large character, almost like a big, you know, um, Parade mask, what's, what's really buried inside that big Hillary head? As a caricature, it's much more fascinating to me than anybody else this year. Brodner says the changes through the years and all of Clinton's different personas make her the hardest to draw. There are so many different sides to her. She never really means one thing. The nose is further down on the face than many noses are. The lips are very close to the bottom. And she's got very small lips, um, and they're almost pursed. And when it comes to the billionaire mogul termed presumptive Republican presidential nominee. He does have that kind of boxy look. And the hair, I would say, defines the head more than maybe anything else. Trump's iconic appearance is easy to draw for Brodner, but capturing the nature behind him presents the challenge. Behind my drawing of Trump, is a, a kind of a battle of a person at war with his with himself in a way he seems like a, a deeply unhappy man he's a he seems like a hurt person to me Brodner looks to translate politics into his art extracting a larger meaning from the political moment cartoonists are not impartial they have point of view if, if you take point of view out of a drawing the drawing is nothing Jake Tapper CNN Washington